So the Tesla Cybertruck, it's made using 30X cold rolled stainless steel. Well, where did Tesla even get the idea for using that material? Well, it came from SpaceX. SpaceX engineers had been using this for their rockets. So Tesla went, we know what that stuff is. We know it's going to work well. Let's use that. But there's another interesting kind of tie up or collaboration going on between SpaceX or Starlink and Tesla on the new Cybertruck. This is one really cool Tesla Cybertruck feature, which appears as though it might be offered. And if you're right into off-roading, right? A lot of people love off-roading. They love their uh, vehicles that can go off-road. They think that that's a reason you shouldn't buy an electric car because they don't have the same off-roading capacity. Well, this is yet another reason why that isn't really true. In fact, this is another reason why off-roading will be far better in an electric vehicle versus a gasoline or petrol or diesel powered vehicle. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. So the Cybertruck, uh, we've seen quite a bit of information about it recently. We've seen this new graffiti on the Cybertrucks. Um, I think it looks actually kind of cool. I mean, I hate graffiti, but on the Cybertruck, the way they've put the graffiti on there, whoever did this, I think they did a really good job. Now, would I drive a Cybertruck covered in graffiti? No, probably not. I reckon people might see the graffiti and go, oh, sweet, I'll tag this thing. Someone else has tagged it, I'll tag it as well. And you might end up with more graffiti on there from people. It's probably not something I'd do. But anyway, this was graffiti done really well. But I didn't notice this when I first saw the Cybertruck with this graffiti, that on top of the Cybertruck, it has a Starlink dish. Now, I've been ranting and raving about how much I love the idea of Starlink, because here in Australia, a lot of people have to get Starlink because they don't have internet. And it's true, the internet here in Australia is still, it, it only covers the major metropolitan areas. And there's, you know, spots in between here and there, but there's a lot of places in Australia where the people go off road, drive off road all the time. People love it in Australia. They love it like you guys do in America and they don't have internet, they don't. This, in my opinion, would change that completely and mean if you could get a Cybertruck, right, with say a good range, 500 miles of range, with a Starlink panel on the roof, how cool would that be for going off-road? I just think that'd be the ultimate. Anyway, I'm, maybe I'm getting carried away. What do you think? Anyway, photos were recently seen showing two Tesla Cybertruck units wrapped in graffiti. However, they're all sighted as well with a Starlink mobility dish on the roof. So it appears as though Tesla is actually testing Starlink for vehicles. And I wonder if they'll offer this for non-Cybertrucks or will this be a, a, a possibly Cybertruck only feature? Tesla has been obviously doing all kinds of wacky wraps on their vehicles. They've done the Ford F-150 version, which was like really well done, I thought. They also did the Toyota Tundra wrap uh, whoever came up with these ideas that tells us you get a pay rise, it's really cool marketing. Anyway, I really think this would be a really cool option for Tesla to have, to, to be able to have the Starlink dish on the top and also to be able to mean that therefore you could use the internet anywhere. In North America, this would also be really cool because you guys in North America, in theory, I know there are people there that drive all the way around the entire American continent. They go up to Alaska, then they drive all the way down to, you know, you go all the way down to South America, of course, you got to get a few ferries in between to cross those areas where there's no roads. That's that 100 kilometer or 60, 100 mile area. But still, people do this all the time. But there'd be so many issues with getting internet. You'd have to try and find all different internet service providers. There's many, many places where you just wouldn't have internet at all. This would completely change that. The other thing I think this would be cool for is I've been watching a YouTube channel where people go yachting and they just stay on their boats for years. And they actually you know, go around the world, have kids on their boats, Really, really cool seeing people do this and having Starlinks on them changes the game for them completely. Now, what I think is really interesting is that these Starlink panels seem to be getting better and smaller. And it looks like this is a maybe a high performance version that's been permanently installed on the Cybertruck. I'm not sure if that's true, but what I've also heard is rumors that 
Starlink are working on a mobile phone version. In other words, mobile phones that have the ability to connect to the Starlink network. Now, I don't know if this is legit, but that would be really cool. Anyway, the other thing worth considering here is, does Tesla go and put these on semis, on the Tesla semi? Could Tesla actually use them for that? And that, that would be a really good feature because Tesla semis, if they're driving a long way and they do are capable of doing so, one semi did, I think, 1,000 miles in a single day, then there's going to be plenty of areas where your internet will be patchy or not real great. And the semi having it would be a really good feature as well. Now, SpaceX noted that Starlink mobility has the highest priority in the Starlink network. What does that mean? Well, apparently that means that in times of congestion, the internet connection for the service remains reliable and very, very fast. And the service costs 2,500 for the flat high performance dish and $250 per month for internet connectivity. Now that's for the mobile version. So it's quite expensive, but it's, I've heard it's very, very fast. In fact, I've read thousands of comments from people saying how it's very much, apparently five to 10 times faster than their previous satellite internet. So huge improvement here. Imagine how good this will be though, when Tesla goes from having 5,000 satellites to 40,000, which is what they're planning. Well, Tesla, what am I saying? When SpaceX goes from having 5,000 satellites to 40,000, the internet service then would be next level. Anyway, what do you think of this idea? Is there something that would benefit you? I know it would in Australia. There's many people in Australia who would love to have this, have the ability to have this on their vehicle. I mean, personally for me, and my boys, we, we drive you know, between different cities. We've done a lot of driving for BMX. There's been plenty of times where they'll be on the iPads, which is really good. It keeps them, it shuts them up when we go on these big, long drives. And they'll be going, dad, there's no internet, dad, no internet, dad. And they'll just have to give up and just have a sleep or I don't know, try and read a book. That's how often the internet is still a problem in Australia. Imagine how bad it would be in many other countries worldwide. And guys, let me know your thoughts on this idea in the comments. Thanks for watching.